Hey, Rappin' Dad, Derek Clark here. Check it out, serious subject right now. And I've received Facebook messages and emails from all over the world telling me their story of how they're being bullied and how they want to commit suicide. This makes me so sad, yet so frustrated. Now let me come with something, let's see. I'm so sick of the bullies let the parents feel shame that they raised a child that makes fun of people's pain. You can stop a suicide, reach out to the youth. You could be a mentor, save a child from abuse. Now, you never know what goes on behind the walls. I've seen families destroyed by drugs and alcohol, but that's no excuse. See, it's your choice on how you're gonna act. Your attitude is your best friend or your worst enemy. And if you're bullying people, you got nothing going for you. You wanna be a keyboard gangster. You wanna have some keyboard courage and trying to make lives miserable, make children's lives miserable. And you know what? Just because you're miserable doesn't mean you have to be miserable to other people. So step up. Own your life. Don't let your circumstances control you and then take it out on people. I grew up in the foster care system and I got bullied quite a bit for a while because I had over 100 warts on my hands. 100 warts. And I got my, not, my front tooth knocked out because of a bully. I got girls screaming at me going, oh, the wart man, the wart man, the wart man. I got guys pushing me. Now I'm almost six foot six. And if those bullies could see me now, tss, what are they going to do to me now? But let me tell you, to the ones that are being the bullies right now, let me tell you, you got issues. Maybe you got issues at home. I grew up in the foster care system, so I know about issues. But maybe you got issues at home that you're taking it to your school and you're dumping your crap on somebody else trying to make you feel good. You know what you need to do? You need to sit on the bully bench and start talking about your problems. Start talking about healing instead of basically hurting other people. People are committing suicide. But let me tell you something. You can turn your life around. You don't have to be a piece of crap. So here's the deal. For the ones that have been bullied, let me tell you, you are so special. You are amazing. And their words don't matter in life. In fact, one day they're probably going to work for you. Because those bullies don't really do anything with their life. They think they can push people around, but karma comes back. Karma comes back. I just spoke to a prison. And you got a lot of bullies in there that are being humbled. That's the fact. So let me tell you. You don't have to be the victim anymore. And their words don't matter. And, it, and the most important opinion you should have is not what they think about you. It's what you think about you. You hold your head up high and you know that you have value. You know that you are invincible. You know that you are unbreakable, that nobody can break your spirit. So don't let them break your spirit. Don't let them steal your joy. Don't let them win. And please, if you're getting bullied, talk to somebody. Do not, do not go kill yourself. If you need to talk to somebody, then send me a message, a Facebook message. We all need to band together and put our foot down and say enough is enough. Today is the day that you can change your life. You don't need to be a keyboard gangster. You don't know how, you don't have to have a little keyboard courage to say something mean. Why not say something nice? You know, that makes a bigger impact. We're all struggling right now. Let me tell you, every one of us is struggling. Every one of us has a story and every one of us has a battle, right? So be better, not bitter. It's a choice to be a winner. It's a choice to be a quitter. You got this. See, your life gets better when you get better.